course for an interim sexual offenses prevention order against him, although he was never convicted of a sex offense. Under the terms of the order, Purple Aki was banned from quote unquote touching, feeling, or measuring muscles. <laughs> 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 Oh fuck! Asking people to do squat exercises in public. Uh, entering oh, the this town guy of, looks way different than I was expecting. Entering the towns of St. Helens, Warrington, or Widdens without police permission, and loitering near schools, gyms, or sports clubs. The ban was later overturned as "quote unquote" draconian, but remained in force after a successful appeal by police. So you ever hang around the gym? I don't know what you're talking about, Evan. This guy looks exactly <coughs> like what I in, figured. In 2007, like. Purple Aki uh, approached a man in a shopping center in Preston and commented oh. about the size of his biceps before <laughs> quote unquote touching them without permission. <laughs> he was arrested shortly afterwards on suspicion of briefing uh, uh, of breaching the sexual offensive prevention order and later convicted and jailed for 15 months with the muscle <laughs> touching ban made permanent. Taylor, Taylor, if I, if I can just if I can just digress real quick. Okay. When I, I searched for this guy, the the first three people in the uh, the suggest or people also search for are a remarkable combination. Oh, I'm ready. I got Benjamin Zand, an Iranian British a documentarian. Okay. Mark Meacham. Mark Meachin. Oh, the, um, the otherwise known as Count Dankula. Oh, the, guy, ah! the, the Nazi pug guy. And Jimmy fucking Seville. Yes! And yes! I, mean, I don't know who Jimmy Seville is. He was, he was basically the, the Jeffrey Epstein of the UK. Yeah. <laughs> but more famous. He looks fucked. Yeah. No, Jimmy Seville was fucked, dude. Wait, he was a knight? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was like really, he was well connected with a bunch of people in showbiz. He, but he raped hundreds of children. Jesus. Hundreds of children. Tight was them. this like one of, like in Oxbridge thing where he just raped other students? No, no, this was no like, he, was, he was famous and he used his connection to like rape children. He was like a huge philanthropist or whatever. Yeah. And he used that uh, position no, it's to like a full on rapist. Yeah, full on. Uh, <laughs> in, in his case, it was a full on rapist. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. In, in, in 2008, Purple Aki was originally unsuccessful in trying to overturn the muscle touching ban. At one point, behaving behaving erratically just before court. During the court case, details of Purple Aki's "quote unquote" stalker manual were disclosed. A book Purple Aki had compiled that was full of details about victims' body measurements. Ah! It's Con his black book. Con it's contact no, no purple book. Contact, <laughs> no, contact numbers and families. It was alleged that Purple Aki would do quote unquote research into his victims, confronting them with such details as their father's car registration numbers or siblings' place of work. What? What the fuck? The second one makes more sense. What? This, if During, someone if someone knew where my what sister this guy do for like money, this like, guy, how does he live? This I think if I'm not mistaken, he was like a personal trainer or some shit. Ah! This guy's dumb guy. My superpower <coughs> is remembering the exact measurements of people's different muscle groups. While being prosecuted every time he does it. <laughs> Do you have any last words before you get sentenced to not touching anyone's muscles? How would you off? still get hired as a personal trainer? <laughs> During the court case, uh, this this is is district or attorney is Andrew Rowling claimed that Quote unquote, Purple Aki became sexually aroused by. Wait, that's someone steam out of me! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you ready for this one? Quote unquote, uh, Purple Aki became sexually aroused while forcing terrified young men to perform, quote unquote, inverted piggybacks, ordering them to squat so he could lean over their backless face by their buttocks and his genitalia on their necks while squeezing their quad muscles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> During the court case. That's for Blackie! That's for Blackie! Save that and send it to me, Jesus. <laughs> oh, during the court case, Purple Aki made an apology uh, to his victims and admitted that he was quote unquote infamous, notorious, everything from a boogeyman to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> to whatever. Whatever. Oh, here we go. So this is a couple breaches of his protection order not to touch muscles. Some more of these. <laughs> Purple Aki approached a 17-year-old in Birkenhead and asked to feel his biceps. <laughs> By doing so, he was in breach of the sexual offenses prevention order, which specifically prohibited from touching young men and touching their muscles. Oh, I served 18 months. Purple Aki in 2010 appeared in court uh, at Molds, North Wales, charged with further offenses. 
on January 2010 after a jury found him guilty of touching the calf and quadriceps muscles of a 16-year-old boy in North Wales. Mm. The judge says that Purple Aki was a quote-unquote sexual predator and jailed him for two and a half years. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the meme again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a breach of a sexual offense prevention order. Purple Aki, who defended himself in court, insisted he was the victim of malicious false allegations to the police. <laughs> quote, unquote, they received several calls a day saying that I am in locations across the country even when I'm in prison. <laughs> <laughs> In June 2012, Merce said police issued a statement denying rumors that Purple Aki had died, <laughs> stating that he had remained in prison. In 2012, Purple Aki was released from prison after serving two years of his sentence. Oh, fuck. In 2013... And in other news, it joins us as the fifth mic on the pod. Oh, fuck. Uh, in 2013, he was put on trial at Manchester Crown Court after being accused of targeting young men in St. Peter's Square in Manchester. Jesus Christ. In 2014... <laughs> Uh, Manchester found evidence to support police misconduct against Purple Aki. <laughs> this related to interactions with an off-duty police officer at bodybuilding events. <laughs> I love this new group. And <laughs> <laughs> in October 2013 trial, during which Purple Aki was found not guilty of breaching his sexual offense prevention order, Purple Aki claims to have spent almost two years in prison awaiting charges that were either dropped or which he were acquitted. All right, one more time. In 2015, no, Purple Aki was once again found guilty of breaching his uh, sexual offensive prevention order, having asked to touch and measure the muscles of a student traveling on the Wales train from Manchester to Piccadilly Station. Uh, uh, Purple, Purple Aki, representing himself, denied the offense and claimed he was set up by the police because of his notoriety. <laughs> He also has actual name. Oh, here we go. His, his name is, uh, was it Ar- Arobiki or some shit like that? His what? His last name is Arobiki, <laughs> I think his last name is. Did, oh, fuck. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go. I just, this is, this you is keep good. referring to, like, in I the know. court stuff as, like, the judge calls him Purple Act. No, to be fair, no, I'm I, imagining I, that the I do that because I, I can't say his full name. I just simply can't do it. I changed he was, the name of the group chat to uh, purple or DSA Purple Achaeites Caucus. No, dude, pur- purple Achaeites. No, purple Achaeite muscle touching caucus. Yes, DSA Purple Israelite Caucus. <laughs> Oh, fuck. He also complained about the use of his nickname Purple Aki throughout per- prosecution papers. <laughs> in regards to- so I was so right. it was in court documents. <laughs> he recorded it as racist, or he, he as he regards it as racist. Purple Aki previously complained of these grounds to the press. Isn't it his screen permission. name? Oh, no, this is just the nickname p- shitty people gave him because they're yeah, racist. Yeah, because it's, it's actually racist. <laughs> about newspapers use of the name. So newspapers called him that, oh, too. Oh, uh, uh, so it was the fucking tabloids. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God. God, the Daily Mail must have loved this man. In 2016, Manchester Crown Court lifted the prevention order against him. In rendering this decision, Judge Richard Mansell uh, indicated that while breaching the order was a serious matter, the order restriction could no longer be justified as none of the recent complaints had formed the slightest impression that Purple Aki had derived sexual gratification from their muscles. <laughs> and unlike earlier incidents... It wasn't hard. We can't charge him. And unlike earlier incidents, the victims hadn't suffered physical or psychological harm, except for the one guy he ran into a train track and electrocuted to death. And he was acquitted of it. God. <laughs> and he got money afterwards. <laughs> Okay. Listen, you got rid of this teenage buff swole guy from our existence. Here's 35,000 pounds. Jesus so Christ. <laughs> we love it. And by the way, re- after I, because I, I, I've known about this guy for a while, but I re, like, reread his Wikipedia article because I just remembered it being so funny. I found a video on YouTube from like six months ago where he's talking to a guy on the train about why to touch his fucking muscle. <laughs> he hasn't stopped. <laughs> A good combination. Of I can't things. imagine. <laughs> this guy must have like a fat life account. Oh, where absolutely. all he does is talk about wanting to touch your muscles. Jesus oh Christ! <laughs> Before we get on to the actual episode, uh, the guy that liked or that followed us on um, SoundCloud, he has his own podcast where he talks about internet weirdos. So I think. Oh, you, at the very fuck yes! Yeah. If we ever do one, what I is it? so fucking want to talk uh, about Carter. Back. Carter Moon. Um, the Street Fighter screw? Yeah. The only problem about internet weirdos, though, is that Purple Act, he's not really, like, he's not really an internet figure. Yeah. But he's still he got, a weirdo. He, um, oh, absolutely a giant weirdo. But he, he wasn't doing it online. He was being yeah. a weirdo IRL. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, when you think about it, if being a weirdo IRL is just, like, <laughs> 
A crime? You know, maybe you should just be online. Oh, here we go, <laughs> Don't Olivia. Do crime so his, his career was he was a professional bodybuilder. That was his career. Yeah, he was a professional cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what professional else gym do? rat. Alright, who's the um who's the guy that Felix always talks about that was a bodybuilder? You know uh, who was Kiana. But you know yeah. who was also okay, a bodybuilder? Bigger bigger weirdo. Money. Bigger weirdo. I'm giving Purple Aki or Rich Piana. Purple Aki, obviously. Well, no, Rich Piana was a bigger weirdo on Rich Piana, I think. Purple I'm Aki going. literally killed a guy and sexually harassed hundreds of teenage boys. Okay, Who he was did, the bigger weirdo? He didn't kill Posting the guy. Posting every day? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, yeah. okay, touching teenage boys' muscles Rich every Piana, day. Rich Piana basically documented a very slow suicide. It was Chris Chan, but for muscle builders. If you think... <laughs> Henry Darger, the Chris Chan of actual success. <laughs> the Chris Chan of offline. <laughs>